my name is Anjali Shivastha and today we are dealing with one of the nursing topic and this is my first YouTube video regarding the nursing field and uh, I am choosing one of the random topics from the BSc nursing first year subject that is psychology and that is the mind and body relationship and for the further videos you can comment below if any of the topic you are finding it difficult from any of the subject from first year to fourth year you can in include all the subjects and you, you can include any of the topic if you are finding it difficult we will send or we will have the further videos on the same topic itself so today we are we will going to discuss about um, uh, mind and body relationship so there exists a mind and body relationship it is very clear from the topic itself that there is a some kind of relationship which exists between our mind and between our body so uh, what is mind or what is body first of all we have to understand that thing also so if you ask a normal first year student if you i i will ask what is body to you then you will answer the whatever things or whatever the part which you are viewing from outside is the body so it is correct it is correct so what is body body the things which we are uh, viewing from outside is our body and inside it the various complex processes which are going inside our brain is the mind you can say that mind is in the simple term you can say that all the mental processes which is going on inside our brain is our mind and this mind and body are interrelated with each other and according to that relationship we are according to that relationship we are uh, understanding or we are um, we are executing our day to day life activities according to that relationship you are understanding so according to that relationship from that the the outcome of that relationship you can say that the outcome of that mind and body relationship is the thing which you are uh, perceiving it outside or which you are viewing it outside and you are executing all the life processes based on that relationship only so this is mind and body relationship so what is body the things which we are viewing from outside is the body and all the complex mental processes which are going inside our brain is the mind so what are the mental complex processes which is going on inside so mental processes include your thinking process your process of imagining your process of wishing your process of uh, judging others these all processes is the complex processes which are going on inside your brain and this comprise or comprises of your mind so there exists a mind body relationship which becomes more and more richer and becomes more and more complex as the person grows so in the term or in the concept of mind we have another th three things we can say that we have the conscious mind we have the subconscious or pre-conscious mind and we have the unconscious mind you can repeat it from from or with me you have the conscious mind you have the subconscious mind which is also known as pre-conscious mind and you have the unconscious mind so we will discuss one by one what is it first we will discuss about the conscious mind so in the simple words listen it carefully from the simple word we can say that whatever things which we are dealing in present is the conscious mind whichever things or whichever the mental processes which are undergoing at the present time is the conscious mind like if you are watching the video now and you are understanding the things and the mental processes which is going inside your mind at present is the conscious mind and you don't need to recollect it or you don't have to uh, again memorize it so the things you are remembering now itself is the conscious mind so this is our conscious mind further what is subconscious or pre-conscious mind i am telling it in two words that is subconscious is also known as pre-conscious mind so subconscious mind is the mind which exists in between the conscious and the unconscious mind so it exists somewhere in between so what is subconscious mind subconscious mind is the mind or is the thinking process which you have to recollect from your memories 
like if you are watching the video now and you are understanding what is conscious process and after two days or after one week you are recollecting it what i have learned in that video what is unconscious mind what is unconscious mind then you are suddenly recollecting it so this is the subconscious mind which you have to recollect from the memories like whatever the stored knowledge you are having is known as subconscious mind to like if if you want to bring the subconscious mind to the un uh, if you have sorry if you have to bring the subconscious mind to the conscious one then you have to recollect the things the main thing is that you have to recollect the things to have the subconscious mind to the conscious level so that is subconscious mind easy then we have next term that is the unconscious mind so this is one of the complex thing you can say that unconscious mind are the things or the mental processes which from which one person is unaware like i am unaware of my con unconscious thing i am unaware of all of my unconscious things and how will i get uh, like how will uh, i will uh, get to know what is my unconscious behavior or what is my unconscious uh, things which is going inside my mind it can be bring out or it can be bring at the conscious level with the help of with the help of different complex processes like psychoanalysis we can bring it through our dreams whatever things which we are watching in our dreams like sometime we have the slip of tongue like we have to like we are telling that uh, i want to die like suddenly i want to uh, i i will tell in in day to day situation it happens many times like if suddenly one person is telling i want to die then suddenly oh my god what i have told just now uh, like this is the person is not itself the person is not able to understand whatever things are coming out from the mouth that is the slip of tongue and that is the unconscious mind which uh, from which the person is also unaware the dreams which we are saw uh, which we are seeing in our uh whatever things which we are seeing in our dreams is also the unconscious things the slip of tongue then we have the all the shameful experiences we have the desires which are repressed or which are suppressed and which we are not able to fulfill in our daily situation so these all three things makes our unconscious mind and we have to for bringing this un unconscious mind to the conscious level we have to have the different complex processes including the psychoanalysis can be used and uh, hypnosis can be used various things can be used for bringing this unconscious things to the conscious level so in the mind we have the three things that that is very simple uh, that is the conscious level conscious mind the pre-conscious and subconscious mind and third we have the unconscious mind so further we will discuss about the analysis of the conscious mind analysis of conscious mind like how you will analyze your conscious level you will uh, analyze your conscious level based on three things that is your knowing your feeling and your wishing think uh, you have to like you have to like you have to understand this you have the feelings then you have the knowing and you have the wishing like i will explain it to you with a simple like with a simple uh, example you can say that if you are seeing the patient which is lying senseless or if you are seeing a patient that is uh, the patient who is having pain okay so you know that the person is having pain knowing first thing you know that the person is having pain and the patient is telling that oh i am having pain here oh, i am having pain here so you know that the person is having pain so this is the first knowing okay then you will feel sorry for him like you will feel oh shit this person is having so much of pain uh, may god bless her or all the things you will feel this that is the feeling first you are knowing then you are feeling then you are wishing or then you are wish that a person may recover soon this is the wishing process 
so you you have in the in a particular situation you have undergone all the three things first of all you are knowing something then you are feeling something then are wishing then the third is wishing something so in in that situation you have undergone all the three things that is knowing feeling and wishing and this is the analysis of the conscious process or this is the analysis of conscious mental phenomena we can say that so we have the three effects or we can say that three modes of consciousness we can say that our knowing is a co cognition our knowing is the cognition our feeling is the affect we can say that affect a double f e c t affect and our wishing is the conation understood this three concept or we can say that three modes of consciousness we have we have the knowing which is our cognition knowing cognition feeling is our affect then wishing is our conation so cognition affect and conation is the three basic modes of consciousness which is the three basic modes of consciousness three basic modes of consciousness is the our knowing things which is known as cognition our feeling things which is known as affect and the wishing thing which is known as the conation so you understood what are the three modes of consciousness then you further we will discuss about what like we have discussed there is a relationship between the mind and body so uh, what kind of relationship exists between mind and body you will further uh, we will further discuss it so we like affect we have the effect of various things like we have the effect of our body on our mind and we have the effect of our mind on our body so simultaneously we are having both of them so first we will discuss about the effect of body on the mental functions and effect of our body on our mind so we'll further discuss both of them and first we are dealing with the effect of body on our mental functions effect of body so what are the bodily functions or what are the bodily symptoms we are experiencing in the day to day basis like we have the increasing of our blood pressure is the bodily function increasing of the fatigue or we have the constipations many time then we have the increasing of the thyroid activities or increasing of the like tonsils activities or we have the lack of sleep all these things are the bodily functions which we have we are undergoing on the daily basis so uh, like increasing of the blood pressure what happen when our blood pressure increases when our blood pressure increases our man mental activities also increase our body becomes over active like you can say that if you see a person who is having the raised blood pressure then the person will have the over activity over activity over thinking process will take place so what uh, the effect of the body effect of the body that is the increasing of the blood pressure is affecting or is affecting our mind also our mind is over functioning or over reacting towards the situation first of all this thing then second example is that if the body is experiencing fatigue okay fatigue we have the concentration difficulty if you cannot concentrate any more if you have the fatigue so this the fatigue is the body function which is affecting our mind functions that is the concentration process then thirdly we have the constipations if the person is undergoing the undergoing the constipation or undergoing the diarrhea so the person will have the irritability the person will have the depression person will have no concentration towards the present situations so our bodily function is affecting our mind also so this uh, from these examples you can relay that that there exists a relationship between the body and our mind then if we have one example i am also giving like lack of sleep if you are having the lack of sleep in the night or this will affect our cognitive process this will definitely affect your cognitive process if you are ha not having the proper sleep in the night and you in no night uh, or as as well as in the daytime if you are not having the proper rest in the night you have you are not having the proper sleep then you will have the difficulty in the cognitive functions cognitive functions you have to exist 
or cognitive functions which you have to carry out you will find it difficult to do so so these are the things you can say that the how our bodily function is affecting our mind processes then the second thing is that we will if see the effect of our mind on our body effect of our mind on our body so like if you have different motives inside like if you have the emotions you have the strong feelings you have the like you have any kind of love emotions towards anyone if you have any kind of love emotions towards anyone or you if you have the fear of something if you have um, if you are having the feeling of uh, feeling of anger towards something or towards any situation our bo your body will react according to that only then your body will have different types of illnesses you have you have the insomnia what is insomnia it insomnia is the lack of sleep or insomnia is difficulty in the sleeping process then you have the insomnia then you have the headache then many times you, you are having the fever also from for where this fever is coming this fever is coming from your thinking process or the fear process or the things from which you are worried this all things are coming from there so our mind is also affecting our body in the form of various signs and symptoms which we are undergoing in day to day life activities if you have the deep thinking process sometime you are having the very deep thinking process what i have to do further in our career what we are i have to choose or what i have to pursue in the further further my in for in my further studies what you have so you have the deep thinking process many times so that deep thinking process will lead to severe physical fatigue so these severe physical fatigue you will able to see in our bodily function that the all the changes which we are occurring inside our body due to our mind is the effect of the mind on your body so it you i i think you will be clear you will be able to understand understand these things uh, like what is the effect of mind and body relationship so there exist a mind and body relationship i have proved it with the help of various examples also like effect of mind over the body and effect of the body over the mind and these two things are interrelated to each other so in the today's topic we have discuss about different things we have dealt with the topic mind and body relationship in the introduction process we have dealt with the what relationship exists between mind and a boy body so what is body then what is mind and it becomes more richer and richer as we grow older then we have understand about the three concepts that is the conscious mind that is the pre conscious subconscious mind and the third thing is that the unconscious mind then we have further discuss about the analysis of the conscious mind based on three things analysis can be done based on our knowing then we are feeling then we are having then we are having the striving process that that is the wishing process we have the knowing we have the feeling and the wishing process so these three things then the concept we have developed from the these three things that is the uh, three modes of consciousness that is the knowing feeling and wishing makes the cognition affect and conation the this is the analysis of the conscious mind then further we have discuss about the body and mind relationship and we have seen from various examples how our body is affecting the mind and how the mind is affecting the body so uh, so i think you will be very clear now and uh, if you have any of the doubt you can ask and you can comment below for asking the doubts and you can also comment for the further topics whichever topic you like me to deal so i'll deal with that topics and we'll discuss it in the further videos and comment uh, whether you like this video or not or any any improvement area you can also comment you feel like and uh, okay thank you